Good morning, my outstanding friends. Look at this. Finally, they're coming around to Roger's world. Physicists detect mysterious X particles in primordial soup for the first time. 24th of January, 2022. Let me explain to you. All right, they've been on the ropes now for like five years. I've been showing these particles, which are what they would call a tetraquark. They've always said protons, neutrons are made up of three quarks. Absolutely wrong. Physicists believe X particles may be made of four. Exactly. They're tightly bound particles called tetraquarks, a new kind of loosely bound particle made from two mesons, each of which contain two quarks. If it's former, because, you know, they, they, they're just lost. They have no clue what to say whatsoever now. And they're trying to hide from the fact that I have discovered this tetraquark. All right, so don't forget, physicists believe X particles may be made of four tightly bound particles known as a tetraquark. That is correct. And here's what it looks sort of like in a picture drawn by somebody. I can see why they're so upset. These are the tetraquarks right here. We created these in our particle accelerator, only it didn't cost billions of dollars and take many, many years. This is our particle acceleration. If you can't see that's accelerating, you got an issue with your eyeballs. And this is where we have our collision. They go this way and that way and hit them head on. We didn't have to do that. We forced them through a venturi that crushed them. We can create our tetraquarks in blue or green or, blue or red. Doesn't matter. They're all the same. They are photons. They travel at different spins. Okay, not only did we get the tetraquarks, which are the four banger particles, and two of them are hot particles, and two of them are, are just cold bashers. These are the, the dark matter, the two, this is the dark matter, this is dark matter, muons. And they have no interaction other than to glue the white ones back to them, and they want them desperately to be come back, and they hold them tighter than hell. That's why we've never seen them before. They do not separate. The white particles completely surround the dark matter in, in matter. In light, we can see them in this configuration. And in electricity, they're literally just that, a black and a white. That's all, one of each. Two together is a photon. That'll bounce off of you, and you can see a reflection as light. If this was just one of an electron, it would incorporate into whatever it hit as electricity, static, lightning, not only did I show you the four particles together, the tetraquark, we could separate them and create sterile muons and electron showers. Precisely what Fermilab is trying to do. And I've been trying to communicate with them for years, and they refuse to because they say I'm not peer-reviewed. I said, will you peer-review me and look at my evidence? They said, no, we won't because you're not peer-reviewed. And I tell you what, I, I can't be heard in any of these places. I've been shut off. I am blocked in every academic arena, in every scientific area, because I come with evidence that overrides their evidence, and they cannot stand that heat. That, to me, is disgrace. All right, one just final last thing. A little bit of credibility, and get yourself educated for free. Coursera, absolutely free. And they will categorize everything that you want to learn, and they'll recommend. All this stuff is free. Semiconductors, quantum optics, robotics, programming on the Internet. And these are the things they, they think I'm interested in. I'm not interested in all these things, but most of them I am. <laughs> so, but, you know, particle accelerators, electrodynamics, particle acceleration, all the black holes, these are the kind of things that I study. And they, they know what you study. I don't know how they figure it out, but... Um, and, and this is what you need to do. You see this here? You're not going to get a degree. You won't get a piece of paper that says, oh, I did this stuff. But if you put it in a book, that's better than a degree. You go in and say, look, I did all this stuff. I did all this stuff myself. What do you want to see? Let's talk. What is it? What is it that you need from me? And I will see if I if if I can fulfill your expectations. Then you'll get your job. You don't need a piece of paper from somebody who says you came to class every day and you repeated what you were told because what you were told very likely was not true. The new 
electron flow theory changes literally everything. And it's not new. It's 50 years old. They wouldn't accept it then, and they still don't accept it now. And now I have the proof. It's time to change the whole dynamic now.